It's the whole Prince Henry comparison thing. He spent his entire life attending fancy events like this. I feel like if I use the wrong fork at dinner, they're just gonna eat me alive. He's the world's rudest person. He's the world's most irritating person. How's it going? Did your parents send you to snobbery school or does looking down on people just come naturally to you? Well, in your case, I would say it's rather inevitable. You're flying back to London tonight. What? Why? To undo all the damage you've done? Despite rarely having time to see one another, you and Prince Henry are in fact close personal friends and have been for the last several years. Sora. This is a fact sheet on Prince Henry. Memorize it. You've got to be joking. Alex, it's good to see you. My NDA is bigger than yours. I want you to know that. You're wearing lifts. You know that too, sweetheart. Can you two scooch in a little closer together? Why'd you dislike me? Climate conference in Melbourne, first night party. I went to introduce myself to you and you looked at me like I had head lice. I'm sorry, I was a prick to you. I... It's no excuse, but I was a prick to everyone in those days. My father had died a few months before and the palace insisted on parading me around. You're expected at my New Year's party. No, I hate New Year's. Wow, most people would kill to get an invite to my party. That's perfect. You can kill me and I won't have to go. Have <laughs> I surprised you in any way? Nope. You are just as ghastly as I imagined. Did I do something wrong? People I date don't interest me, and the people who interest me, I can't date. Oh my god, Henry, I have no idea what you're talking about. Christ, you're as thick as it gets. You've been like completely obsessed with Henry for years. I've not Do been... not interrupt me. You've been long distance text flirting with him all day, every day for months. You uh, spent the entire New Year's party straight up ignoring the who's who of hot young women in order to talk to Henry. And uh, he kissed you and you liked it. I'm sorry. Okay, well, do you two have any appearances coming up? He's supposed to be my guest to the prime minister's dinner next month. He can't ignore me all night. I know. I owe you an explanation. My behavior was appalling. Shut up, stop mm. talking. Wait a minute. I wouldn't mind doing this again. Me neither. We just have to keep it very casual, of course. Your Majesty. It's your Royal Highness. I don't know how many times I have to tell you that. Prince Henry belongs to Britain. Can he ever belong to someone else? Only momentarily. My father's surname was Fox, so my full name is Henry George Edward James Hanover Stuart Fox. <whistles> and I thought Alexander Gabriel Claremont Diaz was a mouthful. He is. You may not understand this, but in America, if you're an immigrant with a Z in your last name, there's not a lot of people in positions of power that look like you or sound like you. I've been given a chance to be someone in the world that my father didn't see when he was growing up. Not here. You can't know what that means. I'm learning. How long has this been going on? Since New Year's. Oh, God. And who knows about this? Literally no one but you. And the Secret Service. And Percy. Right, and Nora. Oh, and I told my sister. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, she was really happy for us. Oh, I can't wait to see her again. She's really good. Okay. You need to figure out if you feel forever about him before you take this any further. A relationship like this will define your life. I don't know if we're there yet, Mom. I don't know if I ever will be. I've never felt this way about anyone. It's like there's a rope attached to my chest and it keeps pulling me towards you. And I feel so right. What I mean to say is, Henry. I'm... I felt myself getting too close and I didn't want to break his heart. What's about your heart? Sometimes you just gotta jump. Hope you're not standing on the cliff. Go to London. Get your man. What if he won't see me? At least you'll have your answer. 
I stormed a fucking castle to look you in the eye and tell you that I love you knowing that you wouldn't say it back. So no, Henry. In fact, this is costing me everything, and if this is over, I at least deserve to know why. Oh, for Christ's sake, Alex, for once, I wish you could see me for who I am and not who you want me to be. I want you to have some part of me until you can have all of me again. We can figure out a way to love each other on our own terms, no one else's. That is simply not possible, and you know it. Now we're even. When I was younger, I would dream of taking somebody I loved here. But he loved it as much as I did. We dance right here amidst all these statues. So if you want me to go, you have to tell me to leave. Please. So tell me to go, Henry. And I promise I will walk out that door and trouble you no longer. Wait. Your emails to Alex have been hacked. They were posted overnight to Reddit. Oh my god, are, are you alright? I'm hanging in there. Are you okay? No. Alex and I love each other. Deeply. I fell in love with a person who happens to be a man, and that man happens to be a prince. He has captured my heart and made my life immeasurably better. I love His Royal Highness, Prince Henry George, Edward James, Hanover Stuart Fox. I hope one day we'll have the opportunity to be public about our relationship on our own terms. I love you. I love you more. I think that's up for debate. We won. We won.